Whew, I just finished one of YouTube's most popular home workouts and I just compared with a 10X workout. And in this video, I wanna show you what the differences are and what results you can expect from each one of them. Let's get started. So for the first category, let's take a look at the overall type, style of training. Both this very popular YouTube training and 10X are something that I call integrated type of training. It's not just cardio, it's not just strength, it's a whole combination of different areas of fitness. Both of this fulfill this integrated this circuit idea, but they have different strengths or different dominant areas. This popular YouTube workout is very dominant in the cardio type of, of training. You're there, you have a, a couple of seconds to do a circuit of, of exercises and you see how many repetitions you can do in that, uh, in, in, in that amount of seconds and then you move to the other one without resting and you are not really using heavy weights. So you're trying to do things as fast as you can and you're raising your heart rate quite a bit. 10X on the other hand also is also working on circuit but on the other hand, the main thing is that the main dominance is a strength training that also works on the cardiovascular side, but dominantly strength. So you're lifting weights and you have exercises that are kind of building exercises. More on, on, on that later. But they're also aligned into a circuit. So not only you are working on the strength of your muscles as your primary goal, but also on your cardiovascular fitness because you're doing them without rest, as you can see in the video. Then the next category that we want to look at is exercise selection. What are the exercises that these workouts are using? This very popular YouTube workout here, it has millions of views, is using a lot of lower body based plyometrics type of exercise. So there's a lot of jumping, for example. There's, a, there's some you know, toe taps and, so, uh, and some body weight squats. There's not much of upper body. You know, there's a time that you do a plank, a little bit of, of, a, of a core exercise. There's a minimal part. Most of it is focused on the lower body. And, and there's a lot of jumping, a lot of high impact. The jumping uh, strategy is a good one if you're training at home and you don't have any equipment. So how can you make a little bit more challenging a, a body weight squat? Maybe you can do this while you jump because of that impulse that you need to generate. You no know, force is mass times acceleration. So you need to increase the acceleration that increases the force, increases the stimulus in, in your muscle. There's a time that you do a couple of jumping lunges, and this is when uh, you see that the main intensity of the, the workout is. But it's still because they are using light weight. This type of exercises is what I usually call uh, spending or burning exercises. The main goal of doing them, or the main outcome that you're getting from it, is an amount of energy that you spend when you're doing these exercises. You're not adding really much tension to your muscle fibers, but you are spending energy, you're burning energy, you're doing a lot of this exercise, so you burn a specific amount of calories at the end of the training. On a 10X routine, the exercises, they look very different. They are what I call building exercises because you are lifting weights of some sort. It can be your body weight, it can be your resistance bands, free weights, machines, and all these kind of things. But the main type of exercise is tension on your muscle contraction. Why is it that it uses this type of exercise? It's because that mechanical tension to your muscle fibers is the number one driver of muscle growth and, and strength. And this is the main key outcome that you get from a 10X exercise. This is strength and, and muscle development. So for that, you need to do exercises that can be also squats or lunges, but you need to do this with a certain amount of weight, with a certain amount of resistance. So every repetition that you do increases the tension that you put your muscle fibers under to a point that not only you, you need to do maybe 20, 30 repetitions, but you can only do maybe 10 repetitions. And after that, you reach a moment of failure. 10X has this main characteristic that is reaching a moment of failure under a minute of exercise. That is when you, you reach that momentary limit of your muscle. And the amount of tension on the muscle fiber at this time is what triggers an adaptive response and helps your body build more muscle mass going forward. 
This leads us to the third category that, that we look at to compare this to, that is the intensity style. What is challenging about each one of these workouts? This is very important because this tells you what type of result you're gonna get. Not all exercises made equal. Depending on the training that you do, you're gonna, you're gonna get different, different types of results. That's very important because you wanna know what your goals are and what is the type of workouts that take you in the direction of your goals. So for the, the popular YouTube workouts, we have those burning, those spending exercises. You know, the main point here, the main challenge is keeping your heart rate while you're doing this. At some point, you need to take a breath. It becomes very intense for your heart to keep pumping blood and oxygen to your muscles. And therefore, the result that you get, the result that you get from it is a cardiovascular adaptation mainly which means that your, your heart is being trained to more effectively pump blood that carries oxygen to your muscle fibers. And if you train your heart a lot for this, you will see that you get more energy, you get more vitality, you got more endurance. You can make efforts for a longer amount of time without getting tired. So the main challenge, the intensity here is the, is the cardiovascular fitness aspect of that training. Of course, you're also going to see a little bit of the burning in some of these exercises, especially when you're doing some plyometrics like jumping lunges. This burning sensation is what we call metabolic stress. It comes from an accumulation of metabolites. There are different chemical compounds that accumulate in the muscle fibers as they are contracting for a longer amount of time. And it gives that burning sensation. And this is the second avenue for muscle growth. It's not the main one, it's not mechanical uh, growth, but it's a secondary one that can also contribute to, to developing muscle mass. So it still gives you some result in the in muscle mass development. 10X, the main challenge here is strength and muscle tension. The main challenge is not to keep your heart rate up, although this is part of 10X training, but the main challenge is to keep, is, being able to lift a certain weight to move your body with a certain resistance for 10 to 12 repetitions for around a minute. There is a time that the weight feels so heavy that you can't complete a different repetition. There is a time that you need to soon all the strength that you have, all the strength from your ancestors to give you the help for the one repetition. So the struggle here, the intensity here, is, the, is lifting something with strength as you start to get tired. This is tapping into mechanical tension. This is tapping into an adaptive response. It's the main mechanism that develops muscle mass, that reshapes your body and develops the strength. And this is the main outcome that you are getting out of a 10X training. Although on 10X, you also have the, the cardiovascular component. You're also doing things in a circuit without rest. So your heart rate is also being kept up as you do this. It's not the primary focus as is on the other workout here, but it's a secondary one which means that it also gives you some cardiovascular fitness. It also gives you that vitality, the ability of keeping up with an effort without getting tired for a longer amount of time. And therefore, we look at the last category. That is, what can you expect if you choose one versus the other? And in a, in a couple of months, what is it going to happen in terms of results? And I want to start by saying that there is no type of training that is better or worse. There's no type of training that is good or bad, especially in comparison to these two. I like both of them. I think there will be a different match depending on your current state, on your goal, and on, the, on what you have available. A big advantage of this popular uh, YouTube training here is that it's already on demand. It's free. You go on YouTube and click and you follow along. You put on the TV. You don't need equipment. You can do it at home and it's there. So that's a great advantage. One of the outcomes that you expect from it is that it helps you build a habit of exercising because it's so easy and so accessible that every day you can go there and play that and build your habit of exercising. You can also expect that your cardiovascular fitness is going to improve because it's being trained with, with that type of, of, of workout. And you can expect that some energy is going to be burnt. Although that's not a really efficient way, if you're looking to burning fat and say, oh, I'm gonna do this workout every day, 
or any other for that matter, bear in mind that any there is no workout that will be really significant in the amount of fat that you burn. If you want to burn fat, the main thing that you want to tap into is your nutrition. This is 80, 90% perhaps responsible for burning fat. And then adding muscle mass to your body because this is what increases your metabolism in the long run. Now, if you do 10x and you do this for six months, what kind of, of results can you expect? Here, you can expect a, a bolder body transformation. Here you, you, you develop the behaviors, but here your body changes its shape because you're developing strength and muscle mass, that there's something that you're not really getting much out of here. So here, after six months, your body feels and looks different. And when you focus on strength, not only you're building muscle mass and changing your body composition, as you're also improving all the 10 biomarkers of aging. In other words, you're making your biological body younger. You're also improving your bone mineral density. You're also improving your blood lipids, your cardiovascular fitness, muscle and, and, and strength, of course, telomeric and all the other components of, of the biomarkers of aging. So what you can expect here after six months is that you build a body that is ready to face more challenges, that is ready to support you, that looks completely different, and that also feels much stronger, that feels much more ready to also age with longevity in, in a very functional way. And now the questions, the two questions that remain are, one, what are other workouts or types of training that you would like me to take a look at? So I maybe can compare this to 10X or compare this to other types of workouts and help you guide your choices. Depending on what you want, this is what is going to be better for you. Let me know in the comments and I can make more comparison videos like this. The second question is, where can you learn more about 10X? You know, this very popular workout is already accessible to you on YouTube, but 10X is a whole program. And the good news is that we've made a 19-minute free masterclass to teach you the science behind, to teach you the fundamentals of 10X, so you can bring those principles to your own training. But we also demonstrate the exercises that we use in 10X and, and take you by the hand in one of them so you know how to do this and you can get started on your own already. All you need to do is just to click in the description below, there will be a link for the masterclass and I can talk to you more about 10X for a whole hour and a half there. Wonderful, let's take this fitness journey to another level. I talk to you in the comments and I see you in the next video.